create a new Google presentation. In the top left hand corner, click on Create, and then choose Presentation. When your presentation first opens, it will have the title, Untitled Presentation, which is here and here, and you'll be given a choice to select a theme for your presentation. A theme is just the visual style, and it just makes it very simple to make a nice looking presentation with very little effort. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, let's just choose the, the light gradient theme and click OK. And for all new presentations it will show you, uh, it will give you a choice of theme in the beginning. If you ever want to change the theme after you start the presentation, click on the theme button where it says change theme and it will give you the same selection again. So if you choose that you want to have a different visual layout later, you can choose it there. I'm going to give my presentation a name by clicking in the top left hand corner on the title and I'm going to call it Sample Presentation and click OK and now the name of my presentation is Sample Presentation this as in most Microsoft PowerPoint slides and presentations you have your your first slide and it can be your, um, your title slide so I'm going to go ahead and call this also Sample Presentation and then that's good enough so I want to add a new slide. So to add a new slide, uh, there's the red button that says new slide. You can either click on that and add a new slide that is the generic slide format or click on this to add a different style of slide with a different layout. So I'll click on the plus button, new slide, and that will give me a new slide with a title and then a large text box. I can change the layout of the slide by clicking on the layout button, which was next to the theme um, button before click on change layout and I can make it a title slide like my first slide was I can make it title in two columns or there are two text boxes I can make it title only just a title and that's all I want I can make it um, a caption so I might want to insert an image here and then put a caption there or I can just have a blank and insert my own text boxes and my own images and whatever else I want in my presentation from, from scratch so I'm gonna go ahead and do title and body So I've already made some changes to my slide here, and I'm making on the solar system. So the first four inner planets, and I went ahead and titled the slide the inner planets and inserted text. I used the bulleted list, so a numbered list, this button up here, to make my list here of planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And I'm going to find a nice image. I already found the image I wanted, so in another tab, I have the image, and I'm going to go ahead and drag it, and I'm going to drop it over in this, my presentation tab. And this only works for using Google Chrome. If you're not, you might have to download the image first and then upload the image. But if you're using Chrome, you can go ahead and just drag and drop an image from one tab to the tab of your presentation. So that's the easiest way to do it with Chrome. Once I finish my slide, I'm going to go ahead and add an animation to my elements of the slide. And that is on the transition button. So clicking on the transition button, will bring up this window called animations on the right hand side and at first I can add a transition to the entire slide so right now the slide is set to fade so if I press play it will animate the slide and show how the slide will fade in from the previous slide so on the left hand side you have the first slide and second slide it will fade in to animate a specific element on your slide click on that element. So I'm going to start with the title of the slide, the inner planets, and on the right hand side under the animations title of this window, I'm going to click on add animation. And I'm going to have it set to a similar kind of a transition as my entire slide. I'm going to have it fade in. You have many options here in which you want to do, but I'm going to have it fade in and have it fade in on click. So when I click the ne next time I click during my presentation, it will uh, fade in the inner planets title. And then I'm going to click play and it will give me a quick preview of what it will look like. So there is my slide that faded in right here and now then it says the first transition is the title. I click again and it pops up. Now I'm going to have my list of planets on my slide animate also. So I'm going to click on that text box and I would like it to animate so that one each one comes in separately. So first Mercury, then Venus, then Earth, and Mars. So I'm going to click on add animation and I'm going to have this fly in instead of fade in this time. And still leave it as on click, but I'm going to do it by paragraph. So it should animate just each line one at a time this time. Have the same speed. 
and I'll click play to preview my animation. There's my slide fading in, my title faded in, and then each click a new paragraph of my text box will fly in. So I may want to talk about each one as it flies in, and that looks pretty good to me. The last item on my slide I would like to animate is the picture, the inner planets that I found and inserted earlier. So I'm going to click on that picture and then click add animation. And I would like it to, I just want to have it fade in like the first transition on click and then click play to preview my finished slide. So the slide faded in, the title inner planets faded in, great. And then each of the planets comes in as I click. And then at the very end, I can have my picture come in as I click. And all, if you want to change the order of anything, you just uh, drag and drop from the right-hand side in the animations window. So if I want the, the planets to fade in before the title, I just drag it and drop it. And when I click play, the planets will now come in before anything else. It'll be the first thing that comes in. So I can always adjust and change the order of which my animations occur. Once I have finished my presentation, I can go ahead and present it. And to do that, you can either click on the View tab and then click on Present, or an easier way is to click on the Present button in the top right-hand corner next to Comments and Share. During the presentation, you can control the uh, transitions between slides by the arrows in the bottom left-hand corner, or choose slides, but I'm going to go ahead and click because I have my transition set. And when I click, it goes from the first slide to the second slide, and there are the inner planets. And then there's my animation that I had for my presentation. When you are finished with the presentation, click on the exit button in the bottom left hand corner, and you are brought back to your presentation file. And as always, if you go back to your Google Drive, your presentation will be in your drive. So now I have it's called Sample Presentation. And that is how you create, edit, and present a presentation in Google Drive.